We are now going to demonstrate how to hand solder a 0.5 millimeter pitch QFP component. Grooves on the smart board make it easy to place a component and keep it aligned on the pads. A dot on the board indicates pin 1. First step is to tape down the component, leaving the side that you're going to solder open. Next you just need to add a little bit of solder flux to the side that you're going to solder. Now, put the tip of the iron in each groove and just push forward until it touches the chip leg. This iron is set at 800 degrees Fahrenheit. The grooves already have solder in them, so all you're doing is melting the solder and pushing it to the chip leg. You cannot create a short. Okay, when you've done the first side, you're going to remove the tape, and you're just going to repeat that for the other three sides. Also, just to note, one of the neat things is after you've soldered one of the pads, it changes color and this allows you to tell if you've got any opens. I think you get the idea. So we've done two sides now. And of course the other two sides would be done in the same way. Now, if you happen to have a chip that has a sink pad that needs uh, a sink pad for heat dissipation in the middle, there's one last step that will allow you to use that uh, heat pad. And what you do is you take a little bit of external solder and put it in the pass-through via. And this allows you to take advantage of the pad for the heat dissipation. And just as easy as that, you have now hand soldered a 0.5 millimeter QFP component with no shorts.